Hello everyone. Today I will be sharing some photos I took using the Leica M11 with a zoom in of 15 mm lens and the Sony A7R3. During the shoot, I find myself almost unconscious, snapping away. So let's reflect on what I might have felt at the moment and describe the scenes in my own mind. Here in Omori, Tokyo, as I walk along the main road, I find a crack of rusted glass. Despite being broken, it still reminds of our shape. I angle my camera at the square window frame, bicycle tires in circular forms, and the geometric arrangement. There was a single white and brown pigeon. The pigeon was standing in the middle of the gate. I unconsciously pointed my camera at it. While walking, a highly reflected subject caught my eye. A crushed semi transparent plastic container still held rainwater from the previous day. On the dry asphalt, the crushed plastic container. Clovers bloomed densely, resembling a green layer reflecting sunlight. There were also colored flowers in some places. My consciousness was caught by a silvery wall reflecting the sun's rays. I can see the branches of trees publicly growing. like a boulder reflecting another world. It was like a photographic surface. There were many layers of peeling paint. The surface layers were layered and formed a single world. It was a time when the color of the dusk sky and the light of artificial light mixed together. I was in Yotsuya, Tokyo. As I walked through a park at the desk, the orange glow caught my eye, creating a truly picturesque scene. The contrast between the street light, the twilight sky, and the green trees drew my attention. The green atmosphere tower, illuminated by strong lights, gleamed in the night. The silhouette of shadows dancing with the blue-white headlights of cars 
the orange light buildings. All of these were gracefully mixed together in a small corner of the space with a metal frame door. The strong light illuminated the ground by the surface of the lighting while that the darkness of the night. I turned around after I had finished photographing the rectangular paper subject that covered the window pane. There, the clouds in the evening sky, the light from the street lamps, and the reflection of the sign were all blending together before my eyes. I opened the aperture of my lens and shut the camera so that the light would blend in the water. I wondered what people awaited from this bridge and what scenes I would encounter in the section beyond. With this thought, I crossed the bridge, overlooking the construction site from above. There were puddles, probably filled with rain water. They resembled eyes looking up at the night sky or reflecting another dimension. Enhancing the altar. Orange light illuminated the flowers while blue light came from the background door, creating a small scene. I discovered a white subject illuminated by street lights. It was a bundle of books wrapped in a plastic bag, creating layers reminiscent of Jewish strata. Why am I drawn to original areas? Perhaps it because they capture my imagination by concealing what lies beyond. I turned my lens to a corner of the area illuminated by a street lamp. I stumbled upon a conglomeration of massive objects. One block was filled with recycled paper. The crumb of them have assembled into a single mountain. To my right, a striking subject caught my eye. Two wizard wooden drums were covered with a dirty mesh. I blamed it for the contents to pull the wind. Then, to my right again, I noticed a subject reflecting the sunlight. It was a silver transparent plastic bag, dab from the recent rain, creating a sunlight that sparkled with reflecting light. Find a spot where the sun rays shone through a green space overgrown with grass and trees. I am on my land through the winds. A subject reflecting light entered. Upon turning back, I saw the small subject quietly standing in that space. Construction sites always intrigue me. They reveal hidden cross sections we don't usually see. Thank you.
enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and you will die.